Hi, I'm Kevin with Navic HVAC Tools and today we're going to take a look at the NRC62D charging machine. This charging machine is unique to the HVAC market in the fact that it will evacuate a system, leak test, and then charge the system. So let's unpack the box. The first thing we pull out are two 5 16 adapters for working on ductless split systems. The next thing we're going to pull out is a digital scale. This digital scale can be used either standalone or it will sync via Bluetooth to the charging machine. The handheld keypad stores in the side of the side of the scale. We have our three hoses. We've got our low pressure hose, we've got our high pressure hose, and we've got our yellow process hose. We have our power cord, so there's no cords dangling from this machine. And we have two Bluetooth enabled pipe clamps. Our low and high side sensors will let the machine calculate superheat and subcooling for us. So now let's take this machine out into the field and use it on a system. We're connecting the NRC62D charging machine to a small single zone ductless split system. First we'll attach the power cord. Now we'll make the refrigerant inlet connection, making sure to bleed the line and make sure the connections are tight. Then we'll attach the valve core removal tool to the equipment access fitting. The two-piece design makes it easier to connect the tool in tight spaces. Always support the stem of the valve core tool to keep the core in place as you are removing it. We'll connect the low pressure hose to the charging machine and to the equipment. After we connect the high pressure and low pressure temperature sensors, we'll be ready to program the unit. The first time we turn on the machine, we want to go to the initial setup menu. Most of the initial preference settings won't be changed again and all the settings are saved when the machine is powered off. First, we select the system refrigerant. This system is R410A. Then set the vacuum unit to microns. We can set our target vacuum and for this system we're using 250 microns. Now set our scale weight units to pounds. Set our system to read in PSIG or pounds per square inch. 
If needed, the pressure gauges can also be zeroed out. You also have the ability to zero out the scale as well. If needed, the vacuum sensor can also be recalibrated. Heme decay time can be set to either 5 or 10 minutes. We're setting the acceptable decay level at 500 microns. We're extending the evacuation time after reaching our target level by 15 minutes. Bluetooth sensors are synced to the NRC62D charging machine, but we're showing you how it can be done manually. Now we're going into the auto operation mode and we're going to set the amount of charge to be added to the system. The system requires an extra 5.6 ounces of refrigerant to be added to account for the line set which is longer than the unit is pre-charged for. We're ready to start the evacuation and charging process. we reach our vacuum target, we start the 15 minutes of extended evacuation time. Now that we've finished our extended tunnel, it's time to start the rise test. The rise test will last for 5 minutes. When the rise test is complete, we begin to add the additional charge to the system. An extra 2.2 ounces of gas is added to the charging machine to compensate for the amount of refrigerant left in the machine. Total time to evacuate and charge the system was about 25 minutes. Time to test run the system. Thank you for spending time with Navac Tools and the new Navac charging machine. Have a great day!